vlog. It has been so hot, and when it's hot outside, it's even hotter in our van. So we have purchased an amazing three-in-one portable air conditioner. The brand is Arctic King. The three-in-one is for air conditioner, fan, and dehumidifier. So this one is 6,000 BTU, and it is made to cool 250 square feet. So it is plenty big for our van. We're really excited to get it set up and start using it. But before we do, I have a joke for you. When the inventor of the air conditioner died, who came to his funeral? Thousands of fans. <laughs> All right, let's get this puppy open. Oh, I'm stuck. The top piece is stuck inside. All right, so it's really heavy. It's about 55 pounds, but as you can see, it's so cute and compact. It's going to be perfect for our van. This is what it came with. So if you wanted to use this in a house or in a room, the vent is going to go here and this will go in your window so that it can vent out. And it's adjustable so you can either put it in a window that slides up and down this way or slides open this way. We are not gonna use this because we already have removed the venting from this and my amazing husband has come up with a perfect solution for the venting to work in our van. So we're gonna show you that in a minute. This is the cord, as you can see, it's really long, so it's going to be very convenient when it comes to plugging it in. Obviously for us, since we're using this in our RV, when we're plugging in at thousand trails and places like that, we're gonna need an extension cord to plug in anyway. We're gonna need something like that because unfortunately, our solar is not going to be able to run the electricity for this. All right, so we have our manual, and we also have this awesome remote control, which is gonna work great because we can change the settings and change the temperature from across the van with our remote control. This is the piece that attaches to the back of our air conditioning unit that's going to attach the vent out of the van. So this will go on, connect on here like so, and then our vent attaches here to vent out the window. This is weather stripping foam if we need to put it around an opening to keep it sealed properly. There are two different drains for our air conditioner. This drain pipe attaches to the back, this unscrews, and there's a plug that comes out and this goes in and attaches here and then moisture and water will come out this tube so you have to make sure you have it draining into a towel or into a dish of some sort there's a second drainage spot down here at the very bottom this when this needs to be emptied the unit is going to beep and it's actually going to shut down to let you know that you need to empty it all you have to do is drain the bottom pan and then the air conditioning unit will start back up again it's super easy I have another joke for you. So, this guy calls out an air conditioner tech to come to his house, and when the air tech shows up, he says, man, it's hot here. How long has your air conditioning been out? And the guy says, two weeks. And the air tech says, why didn't you call me sooner? I'd have come out right away. And he said, because my in-laws are staying with me, and they said they were gonna stay a month. They left last night. <laughs> okay, dun 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 this is the awesome piece my husband made he used rigid insulation then he used white duct tape to cover it perfectly it is made to fit our van window exactly it's so amazing so then this vent is going to attach on this end here to the unit it just snaps in like so and then this is going to go up and out the window. 
We have set up our air conditioning unit. We've put this perfect little window unit here so it can vent out. It's venting out hot, hot air. We have our extension cord going through and in there. We're gonna see how awesome it cools it down. If it's perfectly between our seats, which is why it's wonderful, it's so compact, but when we first put it in and got it all set up and started, the air conditioner would not come on. So we read the manual and learned it has to be on a flat surface. So Bill has propped it up with some wood under here and it's working perfectly ice cold air coming out. All right, so it's 101 in the van right now. So we're gonna shut it up and come back in a few minutes. All right, we had a little problem. We had a little delay. We only had a 10 amp 100 foot extension cord. So the air conditioner unit in there is 11 amps. So it was uh, blowing the breaker. Yep. I hope you can see that, but it's 88 degrees in the van. And I had this in the upper back corner of the van. And what we started at? 104. And we've had this running for about 15, 16 minutes. And it's taken it from 104 down to 88 degrees? Yes. We give the Arctic King a thumbs up. Yeah. Is there a lot of water in it? Um, no, just the bottom is filled. Right here. Oh, yeah. I know you can see that. But it's taking the moisture out of the air and putting dry, cool air in here. So it's the water, the condensation. All right, we'll, we'll turn off the camera, give it another few minutes, and then give our conclusion. Yes. You're in the dock, baby. <laughs> Come into the light. We got down to 68 degrees in there. It's feeling really nice and cool. We definitely give the Arctic King three in one a thumbs up. Yeah, it's amazing that it cooled that down in there. It really like is. It really is. So I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope you learned something about this awesome air conditioner, portable air conditioner. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if this was helpful for you. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye. I'm really impressed with this thing. Me too. I'm really impressed Hello down there. with this that you made, honey. You did yeah, so good. I'm going to have to cut a slot or something for this because we have a gap. Yeah, but it's you did so good.